A photo of the state of community road in Akoka hits our portal and we responded by visiting. Well, the road is not in its best position right now as a resident brace up for the annual flooding palaver, which usually causes them heartache. They wondered if a respite could ever come their way. Community road Akoka Yaba in a deplorable state and it's said to have been in this state for ages. The residents here appear not to have gotten used to a situation that isn't improving with each passing year. And now that the rains are just around the corner, fear grips them. Some of them express their concerns. It's even better now. Rain has not started yet. When it actually starts, it will be too much that you can't even pass. Some cars get stuck, as in even as we, when we use our feet to pass, you can actually fall down and you can actually get stuck or get injured. You have to remove your shoes because of the stones. You can't wear your slippers in. So you have to remove your shoes, use your bare feet and pass the stones. Sometimes when they feel like pitting us, they will bring truckload of stones or waste and fill in the, the ground, which actually spoils car tires and get people injured, those that remove their slippers to walk on. So this place is really, really bad. And it, it pains me when I see, I think, the Oba or something of this area, when he passes here, how does he feel? It's really sad, like, this is really bad. And once it gets worse, transport fee, as in, it inflates. Because passing here is 50 naira. But once it's very bad, it is 100 naira. Now, how many of us here can afford 100 naira to pass this place? It's extremely better now. If you come here around October, November, this place is like a canal, water lodge, all around. We don't have any government here. We don't have any local government here. Back our local government is not working. They are not working. They, are, they don't have anything. They are not doing anything. They should cut them out of existence. They are not doing anything here. So everybody, all these houses here, even tenants here are packing out here every time. Every time some will come in, some will go, go out. At, at the end of December, they will go. When they come around January, everything seems fine. November, December, everything is bad, you know. So we are suffering here, you know. Um, the, 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 the gutters are so bad, you know. They come, you come, you come to get call, collect tax from us. We should pay our telemetry rate. We should pay our what, what they call it, you know. So we don't have any governor, go, governance here. For this store owner, it's that period to start counting losses as flood often gets into a shop. For all the shops in the, along the road, the, the water will fill up the shops. We, we can't even sell markets, nothing, nothing. Even sometimes people will enter gutter because the gutter will be filled up. You don't know gutter and the road again. So even some children coming, coming back from school, they will enter the gutter because they didn't know. Okada said they will be falling inside the water. Because we will be filled up. When the government come and do it, repair the road for us, even the gutters they are not deep. The gutter is not deep. That is why the water is always filling up the gutter. So the government should come to our aid to help us and repair the roads. Community road is a possible alternate route from Akoka to Bariga if fixed. This resident speaks more on the road. From Community Road, you can just drive through Obadia Street into Odunsi, uh, into Elijah Road and Odunsi and out to Bariga. So that can cut off a lot of traffic. But there's no road. Of course, uh, um, I understand that the, the governor, uh, governor body was, on, was in this vicinity, I think, in the last couple of weeks. And um, there's a plan to fix Elijah Road and uh, Odunsi Road or something. But I don't know what plan there is for Community Road. I don't know if you've got gotten to the uh, police post. If you, you need to go to, down to commu go down Community Road. There's no road. It's broken down, and with the number of people who live around here, Community Road uh, adjoins um, um, Obayo, Afolabi Brown. They are all broken down. They are not accessible anymore, and so there's need for us to 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 just government needs to come to our aid. Government needs to come to assistance. With the number of people who live around here, you like it's very close to here. I, I can't, we can't continue like this because we have a government that we believe listens to people. For what we've seen the government doing, not just on the island, not just in the, in the Lekki Axis, or even on the mainland, we are not feeling so much of the presence of government in this area. And we, we appeal to government. 
We appeal to, thank God we have a governor, a government that listens to people, that's, I mean, working on the interests of the people. There is need to work on community road and the adjoining streets. There's need for the um, 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 security in, um, impact to be felt. If you go to the uh, police post there, the, the policemen can, uh, just go there. They can't stay there. They can't function. And there's security challenge everywhere in Lagos, even here. So please, we appeal to government. I, I'm sure that if the police post is fixed, if the road is fixed, things will get, I mean, life will get better. When security was a challenge to the people of the locality, they came together and built this police post. However, over time, the post has become neglected. The community also had their complaints that the police were also harassing them, you know, who built the place up, you know. They didn't recognize who is a resident or who is a criminal or something like that, so some of them backed up. So, because of that, eventually the police left because they felt that they themselves were not safe here. We've had an incident where the robbers came here themselves, knowing the weak, you know, capability of the police at that time. They even attempted boldly to come here to attack them. So the police left. And since then, it's been like this. The current DPO, Mary Ubanga, came here, held a meeting with the CDA and residents about two years ago with the hope that the community will be gingered up to bring up resources to build this place back. You know, so it was agreed that the estimate should be, should be made so that we can now apportion various amounts to various streets of the community. Since then, nothing has come out of that. The appeal to the Lagos State Government for attention to be paid community road Akoka before flood occasioned by poor drainage and bad road network eventually sacks the entire community.